Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. Of course, as you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your wigs to lay as flat as possible, right? Obviously the foundation is important, so I went ahead and cornrowed my hair all the way straight to the back. You guys can kind of get a quick look at what that looks like. And of course, I do have a video on my channel to show you how to cornrow and kind of get this foundation in case you are not familiar with it. So let me give you a quick view of my braids. Okay, so rule number one, you want to make sure that your braids are as flat as possible. Don't come around here, okay, with <laughs> with uh, really chunky braids. If your hair is thick, obviously do your braids smaller. If your hair is thinner, sometimes you can get away with pretty like insignificantly sized braids. Today's video was in collaboration with RPG Show. Y'all know how I feel. At this point, we are not collaborating with any company unless we actually believe in the products. So RPG Show, I I have been working with them probably since the start of my channel um, and I've absolutely just fallen in love with their units, the quality, how quick it gets to you, all that good stuff. So I want to quickly show you the packaging and kind of get right into the video just so that I can show you how to kind of get that bulkiness out of the unit. So of course, here is a quick look at the packaging. Y'all know RPG Show is always on top of it, so much so that they won't even deliver your package unless you sign for it. So I appreciate that. You guys can see it's just a black sleek box. Box. everything came nicely packaged now I've already taken the wig out I've already trimmed off the lace I've actually already worn this wig <laughs> but I want to show you exactly what it looks like when you actually get it so of course there is like this nice magazine which I appreciate so RPG show makes it a point to not only highlight other creators but also industry professionals so definitely make sure to kind of take a look at this you can kind of flip through and get a vibe check okay I did actually flip through previously and I think that I've seen a couple of familiar faces so I think I caught let me see let me see if I can find it real quick for y'all okay yeah so I did see Arnell up in here styling and profiling looking really cute um, I think I also saw Simone in here as well so congrats girl um, but yeah it kind of like goes over what products they have what's new what's trending styles that you guys can kind of take a look at highlighting some professional stylists and so yeah great job RPG show on the magazine I'm loving what that's looking like and then of course they did actually have some little paper but I've already kind of removed that and so they do give you a full detail card letting you know exactly the unit that you're receiving so I highly recommend open this up you know once you get it to Definitely make sure to just kind of take a look at this little sheet here it's order information it'll tell you exactly what it is that you have so the unit that I'm using today is uh, I guess they just call it Buki B-U-K-I 004 and of course I have my order number here the texture is silky it's an 18 inch the hair color it's just a natural so of course it's always gonna be like a natural brown closer to like a 1B uh, the cap size is 1 also uh, cap construction is just cap A glueless full lace cap and then I have tinted transparent Swiss lace in the color light brown they do give you a couple of goodies so you get a little headband here a wig cap of course for the install and then also a uh, wig bag so this is just for you to be able to kind of store your wig on the go um, and I absolutely love this so their sister company also has these cute little bags and they always come in handy so definitely 10 out of 10 there and so of course uh, before actually getting into the styling I've already trimmed off the lace I did notice while I, you know getting ready to wash the actual unit that there was a little extra lace around the hairline so I went ahead and cut that off and then I'm just using my Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner uh, to kind of just go through the hair right so I didn't have to do too much of a deep condition or shampoo but I wanted to get rid of any other products that had previously been in the hair from me wearing it of course and then of course I am just gonna go ahead and style it typically I would do this on a mannequin head but for the purposes of the video um, I know some people don't necessarily have access to that so I want to show you how to get this done at home on your head in no time now as I mentioned before the unit is a full glueless lace wig what does that mean you do not need glue you already will have combs installed on the unit you guys can kind of get a quick look at it here and now of course it is wet so this is kind of what it looks like in its natural curl pattern and the density is not too too crazy so it's not overly thick or thin to me it's about average and then of course the part 
parting space is pretty intense. So you actually get parting from the front of the lace all the way down to the nape. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> so literally once I split this, you guys can kind of see here, I'll show you a little bit better on my head and kind of during the washing process, you guys will kind of see what it is I'm talking about. You can literally see straight through this cap. I mean, full glueless lace. And so I am in love with that. Of course, if you are not one of those people that really know what to do or really many styles, I am going to be uploading some cute little wig styles on TikTok. So if you guys are not following me there, definitely make sure to do that and then of course on the inside of the wig you guys can see that full parting space even the bottom of the cap still kind of has that color going which I appreciate and then of course we have an adjustable wig band which always helps just kind of keep everything nice and glueless and kind of fit snug and then there's also combs so you get these two combs on the side you get the one in the back and then the cap is of course adjustable so you can kind of tighten this or leave it loose if you need to for me about the third loop does me well <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and just adjust that now all right and then same thing for the actual band i usually keep it on the tightest one just because i really like my wigs to fit really really snug and so of course i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and then we're gonna get it blow dried and styled now obviously you don't have to do this while the unit is wet. You could totally just allow it to dry and then start to style later. But for the purposes of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> take the risk for you. So number one, you do not need a wig cap. I repeat, you do not need a wig cap, okay? If your braids are straight, flat, in alignment, nice, neat, ordered, all that, you will be good, I promise you. As long as the knots on your wig are bleach, you should be totally fine. As long as that lace is bleeding through and melting into the skin, which RPG Show definitely provides, then you should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and just tilt my head into this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it down. Now, your choice. You can either use that comb in the back if you want to or not. <laughs> All right, so flipping this back, you guys, the wig is so freaking snug, like, whew, okay? Now, mind you, I did notice that the unit did not come pre-customized. If you guys are wanting to kind of tweeze this out and really make it your own, I do actually have a video for that, so I will definitely be sure to leave it down below, so definitely make sure to check it out. So because the knots on this obviously have been hand tied and a lot of the strands of hair that are pretty much in the wig are also hand tied, you'll notice that some of the strands will naturally kind of like, I don't want to say stick up, but they won't be super flat against the cap. And so of course you'll see, please hold. <laughs> All right, now, as for the combs in the front, obviously you just wanna make sure that everything is kinda lining up, which I know that it does, because again, I've already kinda worn this. I definitely probably could've tweezed this out, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not doing it. I wanna show you realistically what to do if you are not a professional. Like, everybody does not have that skill, and I get it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in the wig cap you guys can see i'm literally tucking the comb in the front of my braid if you can if you have enough forehead space to get it done <laughs> which i do so i'm gonna go ahead and tuck in that comb here in the front and make sure it's comfortable so it's not like pulling you know pulling on your hair and all that all right so i'm just pretty much combing everything out of the way i want to see exactly what it is that i'm working with make sure that i want to do this middle part and not a side part but i'm going to do a middle part just to keep it simple so you can kind of get the gist of how we're going to get some of this bulk out of it and having the braids underneath definitely make it a lot easier too because you can almost feel where your actual part is which helps with the blending you guys can see no cap boom <laughs> All right guys, so I'm really looking to kind of go for like more of a curtain bang look. So I'm really gonna kind of chop this up just a little bit. Um, and so you guys will kind of see what it is that I mean. All right, so before we get into the blow dry, I wanna make sure that the cut is right, okay? So I am gonna add just a little bit of layers here in the front. You guys will see, if you guys need a full tutorial, y'all know I got a lot of them, and it will be listed down in my description box below. All right, and to quickly just show you the parting space here, you guys can see you are literally able to part. And mind you, this is with braids underneath. <laughs> 
let's get into that and so we can even keep this middle part just going straight to the back let me show you And now that we have a cute little cut going, you guys can already kind of see the shape. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of round brush this out. And you guys see what I mean. So when you get ready to do those styles, you already kind of will have that, you know, the texture going. Don't mind my little flap. So I like using the round brush just because it really will kind of grip the hair and pull it out. And it'll give me the ability to go ahead and curl it while I'm kind of getting it straight. So tip number two, wash and round brush the wig. Y'all, this hair feels so soft. Oh my God. And you guys can see how it kind of creates that nice little curl at the end. So you don't really have to do too much. Just giving that blowout look, but we're still gonna get those roots to be super straight, but we're going for a blowout. So already I can tell that the roots have gotten pretty straight just from really being able to pull that hair out you won't have to do so much work later with the hot tools guys so you can already see just the shape the volume the body the hair is super soft and I did not use anything to blow dry of course we're just doing this fresh shampoo and look at that it's already like <laughs> it's looking so cute and mind you this is more so for the people that aren't really concerned about the hairline you just want a nice wig to be able to wake up and go I feel like this already is giving me the vibes like look at those layers it looks so good so clean so you guys see if I'm able to like press this down and then it pops back up that's considered bulk now if we're going for more of a volumized look obviously that's okay but in this case I want to make sure that this part is going to be super sleek that's what I'm going for and this cut gives so much room for like versatility you can do some half up half down styles I'm already like seeing it okay
right, babe. So we are fully blow dry. You guys, it's giving kind of like 90s early 80s shag and I'm actually in love with it <laughs> and so now that we have everything pretty much blown out you guys can see I'm really loving the bang here it's almost making me want to do like a kind of shag situation where maybe a few of these pieces are a little bit shorter than the other so I'm actually gonna do that let's go ahead and create a little triangle And then once I determine the length here, I'm going to go ahead and twist it over. All right. And then I'm just going to kind of point cut. And just to kind of connect the layer, go ahead and match it up. Y'all, we low-key got a little bang going, okay? Low-key hockey. <laughs> so now what will happen, once we go ahead and kind of curl this, it's going to give that little shag effect that I am just in love with these days all right so now that we have everything situated i'm really happy with just kind of like that shag layer look i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get rid of the bulkiness now there's really not much here but just the fact like i said that i can kind of pop it up that lets me know so okay so tip number three you want to make sure that you use some type of wax stick i prefer to use the care care wax stick you guys i've had this for so long probably before wigs were even really a thing definitely at the start of my channel <laughs> so it's time to throw this away but i'm still gonna get some more use out of this because why not i mean it's a wig and so the way that i like to use this product is any areas that i want to kind of cut down on that bulk i usually will apply this just at the base just at the roots and then i'll go ahead and hit it with my hot comb so you really kind of seal the style so so you'll see what I mean so for example here I'm not actually minding the volume going down this way but I want to make sure that there is no extra bulk here and then I'm actually just gonna go ahead and take the wax stick and literally just apply it at the roots so you don't need this going all the way down the shaft of the hair and you really don't want it to um, weigh down the hair too too much so definitely be light-handed La, super sleek see what i mean all right so this is where i add a little bit of just a little bit of shine and kind of get it doing what i needed to do i'm going to take some bio silk just the smallest amount put a little bit on the tops of the hair all right, so just to finish up the style, I'm literally just gonna throw some like soft little flat iron curls in here and go.
like the granny curl. <laughs> you remember when your mom used to curl your hair like this and used to hate it? <laughs> and I'm curling everything like towards my face. Like at the ends. Just curling it in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just a little curl. And y'all see, I'm literally doing like bare minimum. <laughs> y'all, I am loving this. It's giving 90s or something. I don't know what the decade is. Is it 70s? Is it 90s? Which one? You tell me. Okay, so to brush this out, I'm gonna take a big paddle brush and literally just start to flip it back even though we didn't curl it back, if that makes sense. Oh my God, this is so cute. I'm wondering if I should keep this length cause it's so choppy. Should I do here? Or should I keep it here? Okay, so I just looked in the mirror and to, mind y'all, I'm doing this with like the tiniest mirror, like about two feet away. But in order to kind of blend the top with the bottom, I am going to take off a little bit more. I know this was an 18, but baby, we go for about a 14 at this point. Just to go ahead and kind of blend this here on the sides, I want to make sure to kind of add a little bit more layers here. And it's already curled, so it should blend easily. Cause I noticed that this side had a little bit more of that extra. All right, y'all. So I decided to kind of trim this up just a teensy tiny bit. So you can see here, I took off probably about a, I don't know, how many inches is that? I definitely cut this up to probably about a 14, but hey, we're going with it. So I'm just gonna match the left side or with the right. coming down to like the top of the the laces blends in seamlessly all right babe so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely leave any comments or questions down below thank you so much rpg show for always coming through with the styles y'all know <laughs> okay i love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you next time